All right, my heart is freaking pounding, man. Like, childhood freaking hero, dude. Oh my goodness. I'm anxiously waiting and we're getting closer and closer and closer now. Leo's getting nervous too. Yeah? So, oh, I'm so freaking excited. Like, the anticipation is building up. Is it gonna be cool? Is it gonna be not cool? I don't know. So we'll see. For me, I was waiting specifically for Sean Shamel. It's me, Goku. Or the voice of Vegeta and All Might. What's his name? Uh, Chris Savage. What's up, Battle Buddies? So today we're doing something different because it's always something different. We're actually in Houston, kind of like Fan Expo, but it's not Fan Expo. I don't know if you can tell by my earring or by the shirt or we're at Animeverse. Animeverse is from the 9th to the 11th, right? 9th to 11th? So 9th to 11th of February in Houston, Texas. This is actually the third year that this event is occurring. So it's still fairly new. This is something that we've been wanting to do for a while. Well, mostly me and Aaliyah, but now you too. So it's something we wanted to do for a while, go to like an anime convention and try to check it out and bring it to you guys and, and, and see what it's like. This is our first time and we brought our family too with us. This is their first time as well. So it's gonna be interesting, a little bit nerve wracking. And I get to meet, well, hopefully, we don't know yet, stay tuned. We get to meet Sean Chamel, the voice of Goku, and Chris Savitt, the voice of Vegeta. My two heroes since I was a little child and now Aaliyah's hero, so I'm super excited. Again, you might be wondering about this dangling earring. It's the Patara earring that was given from Elder Kai to Goku so that him and Vegeta can fuse. So I'll bring you my other half, my other half of the fusion. Hello, today, of course, we're gonna be doing like the anime fest. This is something that we've been wanting to go to. I don't really know who all is gonna be here except Sean Chamel, who plays Goku. Oh, Tanjiro's going to be here too. Vegeta. Well, it is true, anime does connect people, which is why, like, there's almost no need to be nervous, because anime connects people. There's so much similarities with others and different tastes of different animes. Yeah, so like what Leo was saying, everybody has their own fandom, their own escape. Uh, this one is just particular to anime. I love these type of events because it, it allows everyone to escape. They can be themselves, and it's everyone's like like-minded. They all have like similar tastes. Not 100% because there's some things I don't like, but we're all the same. So this is what draws us in and there's really no judgment, no judgment at all. So this is awesome, I'm excited. All right, so the sale is done. You cannot get no more tickets. Obviously today is the last day as well, but the tickets actually started at $20 and went all the way up to about $65. So they had general admission and VIP. We went for general admission. You could have bought the package too for each day, but we just decided to do one day because Chris Sabat was supposed to be here just today on Sunday, but he was here all three days. The information that was put out was very vague. Nobody answered us. So Brianna actually sent them an email uh, or a message through Instagram, Facebook, and then I sent them an email. Three separate times, the event staff never responded. We asked them questions like, how much would the parking be? Is this cash only? Can we film? And then we asked them about food vendors. We, we asked them several questions and they never responded to us. Friday, it was Friday, when they posted more uh, frequently asked questions regarding the questions that we asked. But the, the least they could have done is at least, you know, give us a little heads up, like, hey, no, you can't do this, you can't do this, or just stand fast, we're gonna give that information out later on. But that didn't happen at all. So, so it's already minus one star because of that. Let's say something that you may not happen and we couldn't make it, you can't get a hold of these people, so you can't get your money back. So it's already minus one star. It's a little chaotic, we're under a tornado watch. Also. And then we're under a tornado watch. But that's not their fault, so. <laughs> All right, so let's go. freaking pounding man like childhood freaking hero dude oh my goodness alright so we finally got to meet my childhood hero uh, Sean Chamel Aliyah got to meet him too so it's, it's it's a crazy cycle because she's you know the next generation she got to meet him so we had him sign the Funko Pop him eating the noodles had him sign my belt right next to Chris Bumstead and Honey Rambod that was freaking awesome he's a really great guy he's everything I hope for and more I mean, I think we kind of held up the line because it started feeling kind of tension back there, you know what I mean? 
So it was awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm at, I'm, at, I'm at a loss for words. I'm like so freaking like, girl, girl, was it? Fangirl. I'm fangirling right now, man. Like, holy sh Like, I met my freaking hero. Like, wow. It's, oh, it's freaking and you crazy. Gave him your coin. And I gave him a coin. I gave him this challenge coin from my group from, uh, from school uh, a couple years ago. So that was awesome. He's the monkey king. So it was freaking awesome. There's a all of them. They have oh, that's the overflow. Yeah, they officially closed the line yeah. for Chris Abbott. So it's got Chris Abbott's line, the overflow line, and the overflow to the overflow. That's insane. Crazy. The voice actor of Miggy, Brittany Karbowski. What did you think? She's really nice. She even like voiced Miggy. Shinichi. That's cold. It's pretty fun. I think out of all the demons, this is my favorite demon, Rui. Mine too. Mine I love too. his backstory. Really? I don't all think I've ever seen a Funko for him. That's what I would do. To go! Pull that by like 10,000 calories because he's working out, you know. Uh, so gross for the cosplay. Like we were saying about the leggings, like, it does look a little off, kind of like makes it look kind of fake, but you can always buy the socks. What is it, a green sock? You just pull it up. There, boom, there you go. Nezuko costume. It's crazy they even have launch wise that aren't anime. They mm -hmm. have Disney stuff too. Okay, so Fox and the Hounds? Which is like super hard to find, and then up there, um, Sully and Mike. Yeah. Oh my God, even Zootopia. Yeah. Oh, and up there, um, the Queen yep. from uh, Queen Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. They even have like a Mickey's Not So Scary yeah. one. And then they like said another Fox and the Hound. That's an original. That's that's to me that's what like one of the best. Yeah. It's like old school TVs. Oh my gosh. That's really That's cool. old school. Like That's old so classic. cool, yeah. So this concludes anime verse. So I want to give it a five out of five, but I'm gonna keep it at a four out of five for me. I agree. Only because of the the customer service that we initially had with the actual event. So yeah. and the organization once you get here has been a little. Was, I feel like it was pretty well organized. It was organized, but I feel like they needed a little better just to keep it better mm -hmm. running, a free flowing. Yeah. But overall, everyone we dealt with here today. Some of the event staff, like the the ones that, um, not the handlers, what do you call them? I guess they're assistants. Some of the assistants to the uh, 
voice actors. Voice actors, they were kind of rude. Um, or they were just having a bad day, I don't freaking know. But a lot of people here are really nice, so. But the voice actors we've met, amazing. Oh yeah, all of them amazing. Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see... Uh, Chris Sabat, yeah. Vegeta. But we saw Goku, he's, um, in my opinion, he's better. But we didn't get to see him. The lines were freaking long for him. They even capped it out. Yep. So there was no waiting for him, so. But we um, got to see the panel. Yeah, we so. got to see the panel. Um, Sancho Mel signed my belt. So now I have no excuse but to go to the gym. Because he asked me, you a bodybuilder? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I just but, like to work out. But overall, this was a really good experience and we're gonna try to catch the next one. Yeah, so we're actually gonna try to make it to Goku's ramen shop or his fuss shop. Dragon Ball C. Dragon Ball C. It's supposed to be a really good restaurant here in Houston. About to check that one out too. Yeah. So. The yogurt tea with the dragon fruit and they said this is the best one here recommended i was gonna make it to a freezer fizzle but they said it's gonna be carbonated and yogurt and carbonation is gross so oh wow it's a little sweet but this is good it's like flowery milky tart from the yogurt four out of five for me four to five we're having to use our phones to film in here because their area in the Dragon Ball C restaurant is so small that the seating area is actually in like an Irish pub, which is like much darker. So that's why the environment looks like it does. But this is the Thai tea and I got the crystal pearl boba. So we're used to Thai tea, but let's see. It's made really well. Our it's favorite, very like rich in flavor compared to what we're used to, yeah. Less milky and more rich. All right, so we just finished eating at the Dragon Ball C, which is pho and boba drinks, everything. It was delicious. Now, the only thing I could say, it is very small. You go in there and you're right basically in their kitchen. But as I mentioned earlier, their seating is next door in like a pub. Kind of a little odd, but we went to another uh, ramen place before that became that was as small as this was, and now it grew bigger. So this one has potential for sure with oh, their pho flavors. Pho. pho, yeah, pho, not ramen, sorry. But I feel like this place has potential to grow. Food was amazing. Their staff couldn't have asked for better. They were so helpful. And the theming, I mean, come on. I love anything with the theme. So this is a good place to check out. So the pho was really freaking good. The kimchi fries, never heard of them. Oh my gosh, it was a, a, a mixture of savory. The tots were nice and crispy and crunchy. The brisket was perfect perfection. Everything meant really, really well. The kimchi was fresh. I would grab a piece of the kimchi cabbage, put it over the tot, and then some of the brisket. Oh, so freaking good. And a little bit of sweetness from the teriyaki glaze like at the bottom. Oh, it paired so well, delicious. I could have eaten that twice. The drink was amazing. Like I, I finished the whole thing. So overall, the theming and everything in there is Theme to a T, it's really good. I give this place a five out of five. And like what Brianna was just saying, it has a lot of potential to grow and they could become something bigger and amazing really, really quick, especially here in Houston. It was a little bit weird that they were sharing like a pub area. So that could be the reason why they closed like at two or four in the morning because of that reason. The pub wasn't open by the way, so there was no alcohol being served or anything, but it was a little strange. It didn't fit the theming, but that's not gonna take away from the food and the little theming that they did have there. So they may do with what they got, it was awesome, highly, highly recommend. And this is a, this is a what better way to close it out, close out this uh, anime fest thing, so. So the Houston weather, oh my gosh, it was hot yesterday and it was 
kind of hot today and now it's cold. Yeah, it's been up and down, up and down all day. So thank you guys so much for following along. Today was really fun, really yeah, adventurous. Really fun, interesting, it was amazing. And what a perfect way to end our night at the Animeverse to eating here. Yeah. I feel like it was a perfect ending. So, so thank you guys so much for following along. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and leave a comment on who, which voice actor would you want to see mm -hmm. at the next? Yeah. Because we're kind of into checking them all out. We want to see. So who are you hoping to see at a fan expo or anime convention? Let us know in the comments. And if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We're really growing here. We're trying to bring you guys along yeah. with us. So support us in the channel by subscribing and sharing with your friends and again it's always something different it's always something new and we go wherever the orders take us so thank you guys, thank you guys. so much and we'll see you on the next one all right, bye. Bye. All right. <sighs> <sighs> again and we're not gonna fuse anymore <laughs> what did you say to me